Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my webcast. My name is Curtis Kears from Caron Business Solutions and I'm the account manager based in the Kelowna office. Today I'm going to share with you a presentation on automating notification and workflow process in Sage 300. The first 15 to 20 minutes will be a business level overview of Sage alerts and workflow, followed by a 10 minute software demonstration. About us, Caron Business Solution is a solution provider of business management software uh, to um, small to medium business. Our head office is located in Burnaby and our Okanagan office is in Kelowna. Uh, we have about six consultants on staff, which uh, most of which are CPAs, so they have a strong accounting background. Uh, we are very much aligned to Sage, who is the number three ERP software vendor in the world. And uh, we are a 100% Sage partner and have achieved a high level of partnership with them. Uh, many of our consultants formerly worked at Sage, so they have an extensive knowledge of uh, the Sage products. We have essentially two vertical markets that we focus on uh, that are totally unrelated is mining and wine. And lastly, we have a Sage authorized training center in BC. Uh, it's in, located in Burnaby and we offer a variety of Sage 300 training classes. What if your Sage 300 system can push information to you automatically rather than manually pulling, system from your, pulling data from your system? Well, this is exactly what Sage Alerts and Workflow can do for your organization. It's an invisible assistant that provides you with the information you need to make decisions or take action. So, but first, what exactly is Sage Alerts and Workflow? Well, it's classified as a business activity monitoring application. It's been developed by Vineyard Soft, who is a software publisher, but is branded as a Sage product. Sage Alerts and Workflow is a server-based application that acts as a corporate smoke detector for your business. It runs in your Windows IT environment as a service in the background and performs monitoring, triggers, alerts, and more. Alerts and Workflow is considered a Sage endorsed product, which is the highest level of partnership with Sage. And Alerts and Workflow has been around since 1999, and they've accumulated over 12,000 clients to date. Sage Alerts and Workflow has achieved a number of accolades over the years, most notably is Forbes Magazine, who knows a thing or two about business. This uh, above illustration is a um, scenario that is the cost of not knowing. And uh, by providing uh, access to timely information, uh, you are running the, but not by not having access to the timely information, you're at risk of carrying overdue uh, accounts receivable. And uh, by providing payment terms to clients, you're essentially acting as a bank to finance them. There can be a sudden change in the client's payment behavior, which is important to know. So what if you had a system that automatically notified you when the client is past due and would send an email to you with all the relevant information? Well, this is exactly where Sage at Works and Alert and Workflow comes into play. It's a proactive method of notifying you to take action, uh, such as putting them on credit hold or stop any further shipments or else take any other preventative measures. So Sage Alerts and Workflow can connect with Sage or non-Sage applications via ODBC, which is an acronym for Open Database Connectivity. Essentially, Alerts and Workflow is a universal application that connects to a variety of software systems. Here are some examples of other software compatible Sage alerts and workflow. As you can see, it has a, supports a variety of mainstream business applications in the marketplace. This is by no means a complete list of compatible software, but rather a cross section. I can share this list with anyone who is interested. Now let's peek under the hood of Sage alerts workflow. There are four components of Sage alerts and workflow. The first component is the ability to monitor your Sage 300 system. For example, should you want Sage Alerts and Workflow to monitor an email inbox? Many companies have generic email addresses such as info at mycompany.com, sales at, or finance at. So Sage Alerts and, Work Alerts and Workflow can continuously monitor those email inboxes and look for specific conditions and take action. It's completely user definable. The second component is the ability to send alerts in a number of different methods. Email is the most popular method, followed by text messaging, which is the second most popular. Alerts and workflow can be graphical too, such as a bar chart, 
or a pie chart. A picture really is worth a thousand words. And the third component is deliverables. This is the actual content that the alerts will deliver. This can consist of reports, forms, statements, charts, or documents. And finally, the last component is the ability for the triggers to update your ERP system, such as updating any records that were changed. All right, so here are some de details worth mentioning. Uh, alerts are available in a variety of different formats. Uh, a dashboard alert is basically an alert that uh, gives you a visual key performance indicator for your business. Email alerts are a popular method of delivering alerts in either plain text or HTML format. Instant messaging is a uh, method of receiving alerts via your Google Talk or let's say your Yahoo Messenger account. Charts and graphs are a popular visual way to receive graphical information about your uh, company. And text messages are, is a widely used uh, communication tool so that you can receive uh, SMS um, alerts in the field. And lastly, uh, Twitter and social media. We uh, Sage Alerts and Workflow supports um, social media so you can receive a uh, tweet message via Twitter. As the saying goes, hindsight is 2020. So Sage Alerts and Workflow is a proactive tool to prevent these above scenarios. Do any of these scenarios apply to your organization? Here are some examples of standard alerts included with Sage Alerts and Workflow for Sage 300, Sage CRM, and Sage HRMS. In fact, there are over 60 plus pre-configured alerts for Sage 300. For a complete listing, I can share a document with you, whoever is interested after this session. Now, I'd like to share with you a success story of Sage Alerts and Workflow uh, here at Caron. One of our uh, Sage 300 and Sage CRM clients who is located in Abbotsford, is a family-owned log hauling wood recycler and landscape haul supplier. The class and family founded the company in 1963, and they've been a client of ours since 2005. Valley carriers were experiencing issues with past due invoices. This, inv this issue was costing them significant money, so they needed a system to automatically alert the staff of past due accounts so they could take appropriate action. We proposed Sage Alerts and Workflow, and the client decided to move forward with the project because it was simply a no-brainer, and it provided significant value to their organization. I should also mention we have an online needs assessment tool located on our website. This is a detailed needs assessment tool to determine if this is the right product for you. You may visit it at the following link to take the assessment, and a report card with the results will be emailed to you. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete this questionnaire. Now let's switch gears over to Sage Alerts and Workflow pricing. So there's basically two models. There's a perpetual model and there's a subscription pricing model. The perpetual pricing is based on a per application basis. So Sage 300 would be considered one application. Sage CRM would be considered another application. And you get an unlimited amount of users with Sage Alerts and Workflow. There's also an annual maintenance fee of $3.99 per year, and it's mandatory for the first year. This includes product updates and technical support through VineyardSoft. Alternatively, there is a subscription pricing model available, which is a pay-as-you-go method of buying the software. It starts as low as $99 per month for one application. They also have quarterly and annual subscription plans available. Uh, the nice thing is the maintenance and support is included in the subscription fee, so there's no extra cost there. I should also mention there's a free license of uh, Sage Alerts and Workflow. It's a 30-day trial license that you can try and uh, to get a flavor for the system. Now I'll switch gears to our actual software demonstration. So we'll be running version 9.0 of Sage Alerts and Workflow for the purposes of this demonstration. So Alerts and Workflow is what is referred to as a server-based application. That means it's typically installed just on a single machine within your IT environment. Alerts and Workflow does not need a dedicated server. 
It can be installed on an application server, on your SQL server, or even a single workstation. Alerts and workflow stores get data in one of three formats, Microsoft SQL, Microsoft SQL Express, or Microsoft Access. Now let's take a look at the application itself and the user interface. In my implementation of alerts and workflow, I'm having it monitor my Sage 300 application. So let's drill down into some of these branches. <clears throat> if I go to accounts receivable in Sage 300, I can get a list of all the different uh, queries that are included in um, out of the box with Sage Alerts and Workflow. So here are some examples. Now I'll, I'll show you the different components available in Sage Alerts and Workflow. For example, let's take a look at the overdue invoices. One of the components is whether or not this is active or not active. <clears throat> also, deliverables is another component, which is the actual content of the um, alert. In this case, uh, this is an email alert. If you hover over the actual uh, alert, it'll show you the HTML or text um, content of that alert. Now let's minimize this and go back into the query definitions and take a look at the overdue invoices. Excuse the delay, I'm just on a virtual machine. Okay, so essentially we have a number of different tabs on the top here. Uh, most notably, we have tables. And in this case, uh, you can select which tables in the uh, Stage 300 database you want to look at. In this case, it's the um, AR customer, AR open balance, and AR salesperson. Now, uh, if I go to the columns tab, you could see a list of different column types. So this is where you would select the different types of uh, operators, uh, such as, let's say, if you wanted to get a sum total of uh, invoices that are overdue, or if you want to get a count, uh, the, get, get the actual number of uh, invoices overdue uh, versus the actual total balance. So this can be achieved using the columns tab, and there's also a filters tab if you wanted to do different um, operators, and um, you can use the is or is not, as well as you have an SQL uh, tab, which is the actual SQL syntax. This is where you do not need to know programming language. Um, Sage Alerts Workflow will automatically do this, and this just gives you a uh, sample of what the actual syntax looks like. And of course, when you preview, you would see the actual uh, preview before you execute the alert. Now I'll go ahead and show you some examples of alerts. So this is an example of an email alert. It is a plain text format, and it shows you accounts with balance over 120 days. Okay, the next alert is a uh, HTML email. And this one actually has an attachment as well. It's a Microsoft Word document. So this gives you a table uh, in HTML format down below, and it gives you all the information you need. And here's another email alert, which is a plain text email showing you the number of um, overdue invoices. And finally, I'll show you a uh, more graphical alert. Uh, this is what is referred to as a web cast alert it's essentially a link and it opens up a, uh, a web browser and it shows you the information in a um, on a website okay now let's switch gears over to questions and I'll take um, questions right now Okay, I've received a question here in the web chat. Uh, is there a number of ways to track, is there a way to track the recipients of an alert email that actually, if they actually read it? And the answer to that question is uh, yes, you can track the um, 
if the person actually read the email, there's a link in the body of the email message that will confirm if the um, recipient actually read it. And uh, also I should mention, if um, a person did not read it and it's been over 24 hours, you can actually uh, set up a trigger to send a second alert to another uh, recipient. Okay, uh, another question I see here, is there a subscription pricing available for Sage Alerts and Workflow? Uh, yes, there is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, a um, subscription pricing, which is, starts at about $99 Canadian per month and for one, one connection. Um, so it's basically a, a pay-as-you-go method of, uh, of obtaining the software. Okay, and there's one more question here. Uh, does Alerts and Workflow consume a user license in Sage 300? So, so the answer to that is no, uh, because um, essentially Sage Alerts and Workflow is connected via ODBC, uh, which is independent of the um, Sage 300 user LAN pack, and so it therefore does not uh, consume a, a user license. Okay, that wraps it up for questions. For more details, uh, we have a product-specific web uh, link here uh, for more information and uh, feel free to contact us if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer any questions and assist you and thank you for watching this webcast.